In this presentation we're going to look at transportation and in particular what we're going to do is we're going to look at northwest corner initial allocation on a transportation tableau. This is a uh, transportation tableau. This uh, is quite a detailed amount of information and it's usually what comes up in exam papers. So we have these values in the cells, for example 6, 7, 8 and 10 and we have these values at the end uh, of the rows and at the end of the columns 100, 200, 300 and so on. So what we're going to do is talk about what these are first and then we're going to uh, compute the initial allocation using Northwest Corner. So just as a remark in this presentation um, the uh, supply and demand are balanced so uh, that's something to always look out for. I'll come back to that later on. So what we're going to do is first off look at the row totals and column totals. So I'm disregarding everything that was in the internal cells. So S1 at the end it says 100 at the end of that row. S2 likewise 200 and so on. What that means here is that supplier 1 can supply 100 units. Okay. That's, uh, uh, supplier 1 can supply 100 units to any of these four customers. Then we have uh, customer D1. So for example, customer D1 can uh, accept 150 units. Okay, So he can accept uh, 150 units from uh, any uh, from supplier 1, 2, or 3, or any combination of those three suppliers. So that is what the row uh, totals and column totals are about. Just as a remark, the total amount supplied is equal to the uh, total amount demanded by customers, and that is what is meant by a balanced uh, tableau, that the uh, supply is equal to demand. Now, well, let's move on. So what are those internal cells about? Well, we had 6, 7 and so on, 8 and 10. So the transportation cost from S1 to D1 was 6 per unit shipped. Uh, likewise, the transportation cost to S1 from S1 to D2 is 7 per unit shipped, whatever currency. So uh, the point of the transportation problem is to minimize the total cost, uh, total aggregate cost, uh, in sh in terms of shipping costs. Get everyone their items that they demand at the lowest possible cost, aggregate cost. So uh, that's what all those terms are about. So they will be presented on the initial tableau, but there are actually two uh, distinct uh, sets of information there. So let's move on. What we're going to do now is start out, uh, look at the northwest corner uh, initial allocation itself. So I've uh, slightly rearranged the tableau here, and the internal cells are in brackets and are in italics, and that's just to sort of emphasize uh, that they're not part of the that they're not the units or the amount of uh, items transported. So what does northwest corner, what does that mean? So essentially what it means is start in the northwest corner and move in. So this is the northwest corner here. This corner here. So essentially what that northwest corner approach is, start here and then just move on. Uh, once uh, f Start from here and then just move on, move on through the tableau. So supplier one can um, send a uh, 100 units to uh, uh, customer D1. Okay, so I'm going to put in 100 there. Okay, now once he's sent that one, uh, those 100 units, he can't supply anything to D2, D3, or D4. Essentially, he's out of supply. So they're going to get a uh, zero. Okay. Or, uh, anyway, so what happens is now, let's look at uh, customer D1. He has got 500 units, or 100 units from uh, supplier S1, but he still needs another 50. If you just look down here, 
his demand, he's demanding 150. So what happens here is that he will uh, ex uh, look for 50 from supplier S2. Okay. Now once he's got that 50 from supplier S2, he's uh, got everything he needs, so he's not accepting anything off supplier S3. I should we say S3 there. So what is going to happen? So that's the uh, first uh, round of uh, calculations done. So the next uh, place we're going to uh, the portal call is D2 and S2. This corner here, this uh, cell here. So let's look at this cell here. Now, D2 is only going to accept 100 units, but it can still. Uh, but a supplier S2 has 150. If you just recall, all together he has 200 units, but he's just shipped out 50 to D1. So he's only got 150 left. But the fact remains that he, uh, D2 is only going to accept 100 anyway. So what we're going to do is put in 100 here. And we're going to put a line through this because D2 is not accepting anymore. Let's move on here. Now, so... 50 for D3. This is the next cell we're going to look at. 50 for D3 from S2. And he's not going to supply anymore. So he's he's out. So that, uh, that means that what we're left with is that 225 must come from S3. And the remaining 75 F for D4 must come from S3 also. So after a while, once you've got uh, gone through it a bit, the answers just present themselves. So this is our no northwest corner initial allocation. Is it an optimal solution? Is this the cheapest possible way to ship um, all the items from the suppliers to the customers? Very most cases it is not. But uh, so the point of the transportation problem is to rearrange what we have here so as to improve the costs. Anyway, so what is the total cost here now? So uh, the what we're going to do is compute the total cost. So again, the S3 there. So what we're going to do is multiply. We're going to ship 100 units from S1 to D1. And the cost per unit shipped is 6 dollars or six euro or whatever uh, 50 are going to go from s2 to d1 and that costs and that's four dollars for each or four units of currency for each item shipped so what we're going to do that is what is these two, uh, calculations are about likewise 100 units uh, at seven dollars per unit and so on so uh, Cal making the uh, calculating that up, uh, totting that up, we will find that the total cost there is four three two five. Okay, so the total cost of shipment from all the um, suppliers to all the uh, customers is four thousand three hundred twenty five. Is there a better way? Is there a better way so uh, to move uh, to transport it uh, so as to get the total cost down? That is the question and. We'll deal with that in the next set of presentations. Thank you.